Hey, how's it going, you graceless Greninjas? Today we're going to be playing some games with the uh, Lightning Box. The Lightning Deck that can kind of handle everything. Um, it has a Pokemon, has an attacker or Pokemon for every situation possible. Um, not the most consistent in any route, but has a an option for every situation. Got the early early game attacker of Zapdos. Uh, maybe we can go for a P or Picarum early if we want to. If we run into those pesky vile plumes, we've got the 1 1 Jolteon. Um, yeah, really has ways to do everything. Whatever you want to do, depending on the situation, and that's what you go for. So yeah, this is a list very similar to Gustavo uh, Wada's um, winning list. He won the special event in France, I believe. That's where it was located. Um, with a list very similar to this. Uh, I've only changed around a couple cards. Wasn't I'm not a big fan of Volknor, so I cut that, and then I switched the Aether Paradise to a Viridian Forest, and I've been liking it so far, um, how it is. So let's go ahead and uh, get into some games and uh, see how it runs. Well, not spectacular, but uh, we just have a draw supporter. We have Lele for a different supporter option if we want, but yeah. Not spectacular start, but we can work with it. Playing against a Point Bull. Yeah, definitely Bull Cephalon. There's the attached pass. It's gonna be a dog. May as well style on him with the Thunder Mountain. Boom, bang, and Thunderous Assault for 70, knock out the Poiple. So quick one here in the first game as we uh, donk a Poiple. Another game here, that Grimer start from our opponents. Most likely playing a Zorak deck, we'll find out here shortly. Um, Grimer start for them is good for us though, means it's, we don't have to Guzma chase it down. Um, there goes a Garb, so maybe not a Zorak deck. Um, oh no, it is Zoro Garb Muck. All right, uh, I think we can work with that. So Zoro Garb Muck is what we're playing against here. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Grimer start is good for us. We can KO that Grimer, hopefully, and then uh, kind of snowball the lead from there. Got to be careful of our item count. We are playing against a Garb deck, um, but besides that, it should be pretty straightforward. Probably gonna go Ultra Ball for a different Zapdos. Uh, attached to it and then Lily for seven, uh, maybe six if our, our top deck is not playable. Ideal top deck would be something like an escape rope or a switch. All right, double Grimer. Um, so KO and the active Grimer is really not that important. I assume they play Ditto as well. So yeah, KO and the active Grimer is no longer quite as important as it was. Actually, KO and the Zerua um, is a little bit more effective. All right, there's the switch top deck that I was talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and get the second Zapdos. Hopefully it's not prized. There he is. Eevee is prized, so we don't have access to Jolteon. Second Jirachi is prized as well. Uh, e powers in hand, one E switch prized, uh, one escape rope. No, I don't think we only play one escape rope, one switch prized. We're using the ultra ball. One, we just ultra ball away something else. One Guzma prized, 11 energy. I have no idea what else we're missing. We're missing something though. Let me grab this Zapdos. So, yeah, great start here. Aggressive, uh, turn one knockout here on the Scrimer. That's all we're looking for early on. And then we're definitely going to be looking to set up. Pikaram in this matchup. It is a Zorark based deck, so Pikaram is going to be pretty good for us. Um, this hand is not so great as a follow up. Could grab the Pikaram, but I think we're actually going to need, going to want a Jirachi here. Yeah, definitely want the Jirachi here. Even if they get out the muck here, it's still fine that we went after the Jirachi here. Might not be able to get out. Their setup was really slow, um, so they might not be able to pay the cost to get that thing into play. Um, our hand's pretty good if we can find uh, a way to actually get the uh, Coco Prism, but yeah, if they get out the muck here, we're not gonna be getting out Coco Prism. Um, they definitely play both mucks with this thick of a muck line as well as the garb. They definitely play the muck that looks at the top five or six cards and then discards all the item cards there. Um, for sure, they definitely play that. Um, almost almost guaranteed. There's a Lele, so they even have to Lele for a supporter. So yeah, not a great a great opening here for our opponent. Um, but if they set up the Mucks, so we could be in trouble ourselves for sure. Muck is definitely tough for us to do. They actually have the Judge, um, so that's going to be annoying in itself as well, judging us down to four from our seven card, eight card hand. Um, Would have been nice to use, utilize this. Oh well though. Down to four we go. Uh, not great, but not the worst thing ever. We have Guzma and a Lightning Energy, so Zapdos can take a knockout next turn. That's good enough for me. Let's get a knock, uh, knockout on either the Grimer or the Zerua. We'll see if the uh, Zerua actually evolves here. There's the trade from our opponent, getting rid of that choice band. Yeah, definitely would like to be able to like to KO the Grimer, but if they do evolve it, nothing we can do about it. And we'll not be able to get the knockout, so we take out the Zerua probably. 
looks like they might be lacking a basic here. So this Zapdos might even live, which is terrible for our opponent. Looks like it is going to live. That's fantastic. Um, and we actually also have the Zerora in hand. So what we can actually do, we can do a pretty cute play here. Where we... Uh, Nest Ball first. Get a Picarom, because that is definitely what we want to be setting up this matchup. Got to get through this big, bulky HP of the Zorg GX. Um, we can retreat to the Jirachi, use the Seller Wish, and then Guzma. Let's go ahead and grab this card. Get ourselves that. Uh, Coco. Well, we don't even get him right now, I don't think. Well, this gets Guzma up potentially. Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab the Coco and get the Picarom ready to go. That's fine with me. What are the items looking like now? Four, five items. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Make this way to the Picarom. Boom, Picarom's ready to go next turn. Guzma, knock out the Grimer. Um, yeah, we are chilling. Second prize card draw here, and the Picarom is going to be ready to go on the next turn. We're in a fantastic spot to close this one out already. Um, despite our hand actually only having a Lightning Energy and a Jirachi, I'm still feeling really good about this one. Yeah. I don't see us. I don't see us losing this one, um, especially if we're able to get off. I mean, if we're able to get off a uh, full blitz for a knockout on like a Zorak or something next turn. Yeah, I don't see us losing this one at all. They're gonna go ahead and push up Trub. This makes me feel like they do have a Guzma in hand. And they are gonna Guzma punch our Zekrom, but they also have a Garb, so it looks like they might actually be just going for the Trash Lounge. Ooh, and a Cynthia. Pretty clean hand there. Play it all down. Get the Garb out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go for full blitz. Set up our own our Picaram fully here. Um, get him ready to go with the Tag Bolt GX. There's not enough items for us to be one-shot by a Trash Lance. We can't get one-shot by a Zork. Um, so we should just be able to close out the game on the next turn with the Tag Bolt GX attack. Um, it's possible uh, we whiff like a damage modifier to KO a Zork. Um, so that would be like if they send up Zork and then we whiff damage modifier, we'll just have to hit it hard and knock out the Lele or something. Um, ideally, we find one damage modifier over two turns, but we don't have a draw supporter on this turn, so it is very possible that we with two more Grimers make their way into play. Did they bring them back? Okay, he did bring them back with the stretcher. I was like, damn, this man playing four Grimers? Uh, not quite, not quite, but um, yeah, it's a lot of Grime guys cycled throughout this game. Yeah, there's the Trash Lanch. Gonna get an easy full blitz. If I was them, I would have gone with the Zora kit here, because um, then the full blitz doesn't let me draw a prize there is a cynthia so it doesn't get much better than that and go ahead and throw it on the jirachi as well we don't really need the bench space to be super open um i'm not going to attach a choice band just yet because they probably play field blower and we're just gonna go for the full blitz and then fully load our he could use that crumb here get him ready to go a prize card and we're fully set up to uh close out the game next turn yeah i don't see a way that our picarom goes down they would have to have some ridiculous combo that I don't think exists. I don't think there's a combination of cards our opponent could have that would be able to knock out our Picaram right this instance uh, in the standard uh, format in Pokemon. But I, I'm down to be surprised. Maybe they got something I have no idea um, that's coming. Which yeah, I'd be I'd be I'd be down for the Picaram to get knocked out this turn. I would learn something for sure. I would learn uh, how this Picaram got knocked out. Um, in this specific scenario. We'll see though, they're going for the communication. Um, I assume like they're only out here is to judge us um, or let loose us and then um, use a bunch of the other mucks ability, the dark Alolan muck uh, and mill away all of our choice bands and E powers. So we can't GX knock out the Zork plus something else on our opponent's next turn. Yep, there's the judge. And um, like I said, the reason I didn't attach the choice band is because I don't want it to get field blowered. And um, deck with Trash Lynch most likely plays Field Blower. So that's what I was trying to avoid by attaching the Choice Band. Um, it does look a little strange, and I was like, well, if you attach it, you'd be good to go. There are two E powers, though, so we are good to go no matter what here. Um, I guess maybe they could play Crushing Hammers or something. That's what they would have to have here is some Crushing Hammers to slow this Picarom down. But if not, he's about to roll through our opponent. And this is, what's, uh, this is one thing I kind of like about this version, this Lightning, this build of this Lightning deck. Um, you can open up early with the Zapdos. Sometimes you can go with like a turn two Picaram or early Jolteon into Picaram. You have a lot of options for how you can attack with this deck. It's not quite as linear as something like the straight uh, Zapdos deck or even the Zapdos Beast deck. It's a lot more options, I feel like, throughout the game. Um, with this deck compared to those, yeah, you just kind of get more options. I don't know, there's not a better way to really put it. You just get more options. There it is, the Alolan, Dark Alolan Muck. And then the ride is beating for 120, but we know it's not enough. Uh, e power, e power. 
uh, as we top pick the choice man as well and then a tag bolt gonna go ahead and take out the mug very unlikely we didn't draw an out there we had four e power two choice band left in our deck so plus draw supporters and stuff so very unlikely we whiffed there and we didn't and clean them up and that's game here in this one all right get him back into it back into it with another game here our hand is terrible but um what if there's some possibilities uh, if we get some top decks here um opening the abs i'll definitely don't want to open the coco gx that's for the surprise arrow trail turn eventually down the line yeah, but our hand just kind of stinks. Uh, we'll see if we can't top deck here. We're playing against a Zorark deck. All right, well, we found a Picaram, so that's a decent start. Uh, I think it's going to be attached pass, though, which is not as decent. Um, yeah, here we go. Our opponent opened triple Zerua, so pretty solid start from our opponent here. Um, not so great for us. There's the Lily. If I had to guess, there's definitely going to be some type of fighting Pokemon in our opponent's deck. This Nest Ball will probably tell us everything we need to know. There's a Riolu. All right, so now it gets really tough. Uh, not only do we have our incredibly slow start, but our opponent is playing Zoric, Lucario, Lycanroc. Most likely Lycanroc. I guess you never really know for sure, but most likely has Lycanroc in there as well. So we're in, yep. We're in for a doozy here. Um, definitely going to be tough. Not unwinnable, but just tough. Very tough. Uh, as the Rockruff is already pretty much set up and ready to go. There's a Zapdos. So that was a great top deck. Uh, allowing us to at least draw a prize card this turn and see a new card. The only unfortunate part about this is it does mean they can move the Rockruff to their active now and potentially KO our Picaram. So that's not great, but there we go. There's a Lily. That's great. Um, so we're kind of having our ups and down here. Ups and downs here with great and not great that's going on. Um, definitely glad to see that Lily, though. Definitely glad. There's Viridian Forest. That's pretty good for us as well, actually. Going to be able to utilize that, hopefully. Uh, rest of the hand, like I said, not great, but it doesn't mean it can't be built upon. Um, they went ahead and Viridian Force for a Fighting Energy. Do they just have Lucario Guzma? Oh, I think they do. Oh, sheesh. Here we go, Lucario. There's the Guzma. Goodbye, Picaram. All right. A little unexpected. That means their hand is not great, though, but they are going to get three prize cards, which, uh, if your hand wasn't good before, drawing three prize cards is a good way to make your hand better, so their hand to be uh, quite good now or at least passable at least decent uh, Brilliant Forest forest gonna get rid of this lightning uh, grab a lightning that's cool um, and we're just gonna go ahead and smack this thing for a two shot we're gonna go ahead and attach this here to retreat play an e-power and then lily for four all right nest ball gonna grab a jirachi think yeah and send that up after this uh Zapdos gets knocked out. Find ourselves some more options. That doesn't involve putting Lele in play, hopefully. And there we go. Thunderous Assault. And if they want to use their GX attack to KO the Zapdos, that's all right by me. Uh, I am 100% fine with that. That does uh, not that big of a deal to me. Yeah, I'd be 100% fine if they wanted to go attach again to the active GX and knock out your Zapdos. And if not, hey, that's also good. I'm fine with that as well. So no matter what happens here, I'm fine with it. There's the Pound Pad. Do have the Ultra Ball in hand, so we could actually go for Coco Prism plus Coco GX, knock this thing out, and then we're two prizes away from uh, closing out the game here. There's the Lycan Rock. I don't think they're going to use the ability. They might though. I think I feel like it only ever helps us um, having our Zapdos be on our bench. So I doubt they're using the ability here. Um, I don't even know what they would do if they could bring something. Up. I mean, if they played Diancy, then they could Aura Strike, knock out the Abs. Also, that would be reasonable. But yeah, it's just the Evolve and then Lily for four. Um, this is one of the awkward situations you can get into as the Lucario uh, Zorak deck. Once your Lucario just kind of gets smacked, you just kind of don't do anything for a turn sometimes. Um, like what's about to happen here. Excuse me, if the target that's smacked is pretty low priority. But no, it looks like they are going for the Cantankerous Beatdown. Alright, that's actually fine with me though. I'm fine if they're going to Cantankerous Beatdown the Zapdos. Go Jirachi. Let's see what we draw here. Ooh, it's pretty good. Stellar Wish. Grab the Cynthia. So we're just going to two-shot this with the Zapdos here, I think. I think that's going to be the plan. Zapdos. Attach. Attach. Cynthia. We have a lot of Switch cards in the deck. Hopefully finding one of them here. There's a Switch. That'll do. Switch to the Zapdos. I don't want to get rid of any more Lightning Energy. We're already down four, so we're not going to use the uh, Radiant Force. There's also nothing I want to thin out of my hand, so another reason... I'm not going to use the Viridian Forest. Um, we have the Thunder Mountain in our hand, which is a huge card to have in your hand at any time. So as long as we actually find the 
Coco Prism could potentially pull off a pretty big attack next turn. Um, all comes down if we can find that Coco Prism though. So they have GX attack, so we're no longer afraid of Dangerous Rogue, which is a big deal. Um, so they can Claw Slash this, but um, if they don't play Diancy, Claw Slash will not knock out a Zapdos. Um, we'll be chilling for another turn. Yeah, Claw Slash does not knock out Zapdos, so that's good for us. There is the Diancy though, so Claw Slash in this case does knock out Zapdos. Alright, so that's not great for us. Now we need to find a way to deal with this Lycan Rock, which we don't currently have in hand or on board. Um, we could look for the Coco GX, uh, and then two damage modifiers would take this out. And then they are only actually one Guzma plus DC away from KO and a Jiraji. But I don't even think we have a choice. I think we have to like just kind of try to kind of try and KO this Lycan Rock, and then go from there. There's the Claw Slash. Uh, I think the most optimal way to do it is through. The Coco GX plus two damage modifiers. This guy would also work, I guess. So there's that, this, that. Escape rope doesn't help us, so I think we're gonna go ahead and thin out the escape rope. Uh, that's it, not gonna take anything. Bench this guy, attach to this guy just in case we end up using this guy. Put this in play and then let loose. See some new cards. We need to see some new cards here. Some stuff has gotta change. One, two, three, four. Okay. Can Ultra Ball away these two to grab the Coco Prism. That's kind of cool. Buy cards. There's your Coco Prism. Down. Lily for six. See what we get. Uh, it's not great. In fact, I think it might just be a loss now for us. There's no way for us to knock out this Lycan Rock. And yeah, that's what's going to happen, I think. Here. I guess we can... Huh, Stellar Wish. I'm trying to come up with a way to actually deal with this situation i don't think it exists uh we can get the coco into our active and actually attack this okay that's what we can do um we already have ultra ball to get the coco ultra ball away lily and jirachi i think um probably just want to e-power uh choice man might be a little bit better actually at this point or energy switch actually ah, i kind of like the energy switch actually oh actually i think we can knock this thing out we can go bench this Oh, I think we're actually good here. We're good here. We're good here. What about these? I almost missed this, but we have not GX'd yet. And then we can go Ultra Ball. Get rid of, like I said, Lily and Jirachi. Um, get the Coco. A little bit of a complicated turn, but it is going to work here. Coco, Arrow Trail for one. Um, that's it. Uh, e Switch from here to here. I think I'd rather have the energy on the Coco. I'm actually not sure. And then retreat and tag bolt GX for the knockout. All right, a little bit of a complicated turn there. I almost missed that one, um, but there we go. Knockout on like rock GX, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what our opponent has on their turn. Currently, we win the game with the Guzma on the Diancy. Um, but yeah, if they have a DCE Guzma, we do just lose. They will KO the more Shadow or the Jirachi. Doesn't matter. They both knock them both out. See so yeah, if they have DCE Guzma. We do just lose, but we put ourselves in the best spot possible, especially for the situation we are in. Super awkward start. They got our early knockout on the one of the Picaroms, immediately going down to three prizes. So I think for the situation we were put in, we ended up doing okay. And now it just comes down to, does our opponent have the Guzma DCE? They have both Lele's left in the deck and three DCE. Um, only one Guzma? Or do they have both Guzmas? Oh, they pow the Guzma back on, and both Guzmas. So they kind of got everything in the deck that they need. Um, just kind of have to hope they whiff. There's a communication though. Not liking, not liking my odds with that communication there. There's the Lele. Is the last card in the hand DC or are they going to trade the last card? Probably Lele for Guzma first and then trade or they maybe just have the DC in hand and, uh, there's nothing we can do about it. I was a little surprised that they actually sent up this Zorak over the other Zorak. There's a Mallow. Um interesting they're playing the mallow okay i i don't think that's correct there but uh maybe they know something we don't we'll see here in just a second they have a trade left i believe yeah, they definitely should have played for the guzma play trading into a dce here is not good enough i don't think they, that's what they went for though it looks like they just went for the trade into dce Plus, oh, plus Lycan Rock on the Ditto. Okay, no, Mallow works. Mallow's a little bit better. I was confused for a second. But yeah, Ditto does evolve into Lycan Rock, doesn't it? All right, that'll work. 
as they uh, clean up our marsh out of there. I was confused for a second, but no, that works, that works. I was like, that's not a gust effect, but no. Ditto evolved into Lycanroc is pretty good. All right, so we ended up taking an L here in this last one. Uh, we kept it close, though. Uh, weren't able to quite pull it on the end, but we had a really rough start. They had a really good start. Um, for the situation, their start wasn't actually spectacular. They didn't get a ton of Zorx, but they had enough stuff to really put the pressure on. Um, turn to turn. They had they played the Diancie, so that was a big turn when they KO'd our Zapdos. They got that early light Lucario KO on our bench peek around that had an energy, so it kind of just snowballed out of control from there. Tried to throw a last ditch let loose in the end there to try and throw him off. Wasn't quite good enough, so we are going to take the L here in this last one, but it was a fun game nonetheless. Um, that's going to do it for this Pikaram Lightning Box deck video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Um, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out my Twitch live stream and social media links in the description below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.